So do you still feel like you can hear at least as well as the average party goer? Now the reason I asked this question is because I did a video yesterday talking about the PA system that I use for weddings and stuff. And I said one way that I can improve the sound quality, not that I have a problem with it, but if I wanted to improve it, I could move from 320k MP3 files to like a wave or a flack or something, and that would improve the sound. Again, I don't have a problem with my system, I think it sounds pretty good, but that would make it sound better. Now some people in the comments section said, yeah, you're going to notice a difference if you move to uh, something like a CD or a wave or a flack. Other people said, nope, you'll never hear the difference, it doesn't really matter. Uh, what your bitrate is of your mp3 or whether it's cd or whatever only an audio file is going to hear that or you need a, some kind of like measurement instrument to like you know put up to your speaker and see the difference but the average person is never going to hear it and the thing is is that i can hear it i can definitely hear a difference i've done this experiment of uh, cd versus mp3 and wow big difference so if some of these djs aren't hearing the difference maybe They've got a hearing problem, and they don't even know it. Why is this bad? Because we don't want to lose our hearing. It's what we need to do our job. And if we have experienced some hearing loss, we shouldn't be experiencing any further hearing loss. So what can you do to protect your ears? There are some earplugs out there, and I don't know what they're called. Nigel Harwood uses them, I believe, Andy Cramden, and Pulse from Pioneer has them, where they're custom made, they go in your ears, and they filter out the harmful stuff. Yet you can still hear things like people talking or music or whatever. Now the other thing you don't want to do is cause your audience any hearing damage. Imagine this, you're a DJ. You tune a system to sound really good to you, yet you've got hearing damage. So what you've done is tuned a system to compensate for your hearing damage. You may be causing your audience hearing damage. That's a bad thing. Now what might a person be able to do to fix this, first admit that you have a problem and you can't hear as well as you used to. The second thing I think might be a good idea is to bring somebody along with you who can still hear. They don't have to be an audiophile, but they need to be able to recognize good from bad and pain from pleasure, and they can let you know when your system sounds right. I think that's probably the best thing to do to keep you on the road and not harm your audience at the same time. And use your in-booth monitor all you want. If you need to, that's you. But don't cause anybody else any kind of hearing fatigue. That's just a bad thing. The old people will complain. Dave Ellsworth said, who's the average person? You don't define that. Well, the average person is the person who feels pain when your system is too loud. It's the old lady going, turn it down. The old lady is complaining because the old lady is bold and she doesn't care. The young person is feeling the same pain, but they're trying to be cool. Hey, look, I can hang, no pain, no gain. Here we go, let's party. It's a party, it's supposed to be loud. It's supposed to kind of maybe hurt a little bit. Rock and roll. Old people don't do that. That's a young person's sport, but they're still experiencing ear fatigue and ultimately maybe some damage if they got ringing the next day. I've done it, I've gone to a rock concert. My ears have rang for days afterwards. That is called tinnitus, and that is a frequency you're hearing in your ear, lasts for days, maybe, whatever, and when that goes away, you think everything's okay. Nope. What's happened is you've lost that frequency that was buzzing. You can no longer hear that sound. That frequency is gone. It's died, and it's not coming back. So protect your ears, and take care of yourself, and maybe think about bringing somebody along to double check your levels and your tuning on your sound system so you don't hurt anybody else in your audience. Quick video, didn't mean to be preachy, just uh, trying to help. We'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching, practice, and enjoy.